Okay, so this video is on mathematical induction. We're going to use the most basic definition of induction. Uh, there are big, there are generalizations of induction. Most importantly, complete induction, which the next video will probably be on. So I'm going to take examples from this book. It's by these guys. <laughs> and they are mathematicians at University of Sydney okay so so this is a principle of mathematical induction so it states that if a statement P is true of one and for all n elements of the natural numbers, p of n being true implies that p of n plus 1 is true, then we may conclude that for all n that are natural numbers, p of n is true. So the definition of natural numbers in our course excludes 0, so we start with 1. So the example I've got here is the usually the first example people are shown when they learn induction and so if you draw some diagrams which sort of represent natural numbers by squares you can probably play around a little bit and you'll get a feel for why this is intuitively true okay so let, let's prove the statement so we have to show that it's true of 1. Now this, we could use big sigma notation, like summation notation to represent this. So to do that, we say big sigma i equals 1 yeah, to n of i equals n outside of n plus 1. The reason this is a bit more accurate is because I feel that this 2 being here is a bit misleading because when n is equal to 1 there is no 2, there is only 1. Okay, But for this proof I won't use sigma notation we'll just stick with this notation. So we have to prove, according to our definition, that the statement holds for n equals 1. So to do that, we just plug in n equals 1 into our statement and show that it's true. Show that it's true. So the way I like to do it is I like to think, okay, left-hand side, left-hand side. But you probably shouldn't do this if you're writing it up but whatever, and submitting it. So left hand side equals 1 because n is 1. Cool. Right hand side equals, well let's substitute 1 in, 1 outside of 1 plus 1 over 2. Well that equals 1. So therefore left hand side equals right hand side. So funky yes. Okay. Left hand side equals right hand side. So therefore the statement is true when n equals 1. Okay, that's cool. So when proving an implication, we have to assume the antecedent and derive the consequent. So because we have this universal quantifier here for all n that are natural numbers, the n that we use when we assume the antecedent has to be an arbitrary n. So we can't assume any properties about n which essentially would change the flow of the proof. I don't know how to make that more precise, but yeah, let's go with that. Okay. So let's assume it's true for n. 
So what that means essentially is that we're assuming this statement. Okay? So I've written theorem here, but let's just rub that out and write next to it. inductive hypothesis you can also call it the inductive assumption doesn't really matter okay inductive hypothesis so now that we know this is we've assumed this is true we've got to use it in our proof of that p of n plus 1 is true so how do we do that well let's take the left hand side and add n plus 1 so left hand side equals 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus n plus n plus 1 and I'll do brackets around this okay so we have left hand side equals 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 n plus n plus 1 now by our inductive hypothesis this which is here is equal to that so we can substitute this into this okay so let's do that so we got n outside of n plus 1 hmm, over 2 plus n plus 1. Let's simplify. So to run it out of space, but I think it'll be alright. So we've got to get a common denominator. So n outside of n plus 1 plus 2 n plus 1 all over 2. Now Now we take the well we take the common factor out, so we have n plus one outside of n plus two all over two. Now if we look at this we can see that this is essentially the statement P of n or the right hand side of P of n with n replaced by n plus one. So that essentially means that the statement is true. So we we've, we've we've completed the proof. So yeah, that's good. So equals right hand side. Right hand side of p of n plus 1. So just to clarify in this case In this case, p of n plus 1 is the statement 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus n plus n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 outside of n plus 1 plus 1 all over 2. This becomes n plus 2 which is equal to what we demonstrated before. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, for all n, p of n. Cool.